Hello everybody, what is up? This is Siberia, back from a long, long break, bringing you my first 6th generation battle against a guy by the name of Chris from Smogon, and let me just start off by telling you that, well I'm sure you all know this, but breeding a team in 6th gen is a bitch. Uh, this probably took me about a week, and I finally got it done. You're probably not going to see me using any new Pokemon for a while because I am sick and tired of riding my bike past the daycare and asking that guy if he's got an egg. So, he leads with a Rotom and I lead with a Tyranitar. I'm figuring he's probably going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, but I don't really care to switch out because I need to get my rocks up and beyond getting up rocks and setting up stand, that's pretty much what this Tyranitar does. Anyways, he goes with the Volt Switch and gets the Crit, which does a lot more than I thought it would. He goes out to his Scizor, and I do get my Rocks up. That's going to end up being very helpful later. I do see, though, that he has an Excadrill, so I need to make sure he uh, doesn't is not able to spin. Uh, so I go out to my Skarmory as he Megas up the Scizor. I'm not sure why he even bothered, because Skarmory completely walls that thing. Then he goes for the Bullet Punch. Actually, did I just switch in? I think so. So he goes for the Bullet Punch, and I'm figuring I might as well take this opportunity to just set up my spikes. I want to get one layer of spikes and one layer of rocks up, so that way everything that comes in is taking 25%. And I did see he has the Greninja, which I really do not like, and this way I can get as much damage on it as possible. Uh, he goes to a Rotom, and I do have the Sturdy, but I don't really want my Skarmory to die, so I'm just going to switch out to Garchomp, expecting a... Uh, Volt Switch. Unfortunately, he has the Hidden Power Ice, which I'm quite surprised, given that there's no Pokesav yet. He would have had to breed that, and I would not want to have done that if I was him. But anyway, he kills the Garchomp, and that probably means that he's either Spexed or Scarf, so I feel safe going out to my Aegislash and... This thing is a total beast. He's, if he's either going to stay in and not kill me, or he's going to switch out. And I do have the Shadow Ball, and nothing on his team will like taking that. So I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. He goes out to his Excadrill, I guess, expecting me to SD up and try to kill me. And I... That does a huge chunk to him. I do also have Shadow Sneak. I am mixed on this Aegislash, so I'm going to go ahead and kill that. Now I do not have to worry about him rapid spinning anymore, which is nice. He's going to go to his Scizor, and unless he has the Night Slash or something, I'm not really afraid of any of his moves. He does no longer resist Shadow Ball, so I'm just going to stay in and put myself back into Shield form with the King Shield to see what he does. He ends up going for Pursuit and lowers his attack in the process, so now I am completely safe staying in. I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball and either hurt Scizor or hurt whatever he brings in. He does switch in this Tyranitar, which is going to resist the Shadow Ball. In hindsight, I probably should have seen that coming, but even with a resisted move to a Tyranitar, I'm still going to do... Well, actually, I guess that wasn't that much. It was mostly the spikes and stealth rock that hurt him. So I'm going to go with King Shield again and put myself back in Blade form or Shield form. The only thing that I'm really afraid of from him is Dragon Dance, but I don't think I've ever seen a single Tyranitar carry Dragon Dance in this generation. So he goes for the Rocks, which is probably a smart move on his part. Then he goes with Pursuit. Judging by how much that did, I'm pretty sure I would have even survived a crunch, and I do have the Sacred Sword, so I take him out with that. And at this point, I'm not sure what he's... Oh, he's going to go back to his Rotom, and I am... Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point he's either Specs or Scarf, because... I don't know any other reason why they'd have Hidden Power Ice. So I'm just going to go for the King Shield again to scout his move. 
He goes for a Hydro Pump, which I'm not sure if I can live, and I don't really want uh, this guy dead yet, because as I said, he has the Greninja. I need my Shadow Sneak to hopefully do some damage to that. So I go out to my Azumarill. I think I can take the Hydro Pump okay, and that, for a resisted move, does a whole lot more than I thought it was. He may be Specs, given what it did. I'm not sure if I can live another one, but I certainly don't want anything else to take it. So I'm just going to stay in here. Thankfully, I hold on with 4 HP. I go for the play rough, which does take him out, but I will die to the sandstorm. Anyway, so I just wanted to make sure that thing is dead. So I, what he has left is a Trevent, the uh, Greninja, and one other... Oh, and the Scizor. Uh, I'm just going to go to my Aegislash because being a special attacker, I'm pretty sure it can handle Trevent. Uh, it can handle Scizor. He doesn't really have anything that can hurt me. And I am worried about this Greninja, though. It doesn't have any boosting moves that I know of, so I go for the King Shield to scout his move and hope he might turn himself into a type that doesn't resist Shadow Sneak. He does go for the Hydro Pump and turn himself into Water type. He may not have Dark Pulse on this one. That being said, that's actually huge for me because he's no longer Dark type. He does not resist the Shadow Sneak, and that does a lot of damage, easily to the point where I can revenge kill him with Blaziken without having to use High Jump Kick and risk him, risk him switching into his Ghost type. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I bring in my Blaziken. Uh, I'm not faster right now, but I do run the Protect so I can revenge kill things with it. So I'm going to go for Protect. He's going to set up Spikes on me, which I guess is the best move on his part. I guess that means he predicted my Protect, but it really doesn't matter because now I outspeed him. Um, I am going to go, I am going to Mega Evolve here. He's going to bring in his Trevent. I'm guessing he m was just hoping I would somehow use High Jump Kick, although I'm not sure why, because he changed himself into a ground type, so he doesn't even resist fire anymore, and he was low enough that probably even a tackle could have killed him. So I do Mega Evolve, I go for the Fire Punch, which I'm actually surprised it took that thing out, because I've been fighting a lot of them on Showdown, and they are incredibly bulky and incredibly annoying with that stupid Harvest Citrus Berry, whatever they do. But I do take it out with the Fire Punch. Uh, he's going to go into his Scizor, which really doesn't threaten me because Scizor and Fire. He goes for the Bullet Punch. It does not even do half. I'm actually surprised at how little that did, because even though I'm Mega Blaziken, I still don't think I'm that defensive. I, I do take him out with the Fire Punch. The only thing he has left is the Greninja, which, if it does not die to Spikes and Stealth Rock, will die to a Fire Punch. Uh, but it does actually, it actually dies to Stealth Rock. It doesn't even take Spike's damage. And I take it out. Uh, that was a good game. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, sub. Bye.